السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته دعوة ذي عشهر مركة تي في كسو دوا ذا مركة لي برنامج كينا ولي ببرنامج كي وغهري سنة كان 2019 اني قو اه شكري قوشير او مانت انسو حريريني برنامج كا مانت مرتي شرفو حانا وقو اه هوضا سمنتر يو اروركا بيجين تهيل بيجين تهيل شقة ذي سوحي بلابتي سنة كان لبضا كون يا صدح صدحي توانكا شقبا بيسوي الدي لكن برنامج كمان تكو سابسن وآه سيد حرير كقويس كأي حرير كبرشدة لوحو تنكرا لوحو تنلها أمانت برنامج كنوعة هذا سمتر وحي سكو كانتي داد وحبرتي داد فكرة ذاك لدونا داد هرمود و بلشدة الصوماليات قار أهان مقالة ذا تورنت الدقن وحان مرتي شرف نوغو برنامج كمان عيشة فرانسيس أيان يوسف يو عبد الله آذن يو أيادي إبراهيم عمرتي شرف نوع هدنا وحاربنا إنا كبلاونا إن شاء الله تعالى هذا صمتر وإيضا نوغ شاكينا سؤور كيدا يو أرغنازيشن كا وحي كساب سنتهي يو صبابتي وبلاو ذي بيجين تهيل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن سوا سيدي شكري تيري إن ما قاعد يقول حويان هذا الصمتر I am the owner of Begin to Heal مركب سومالي في إنجليزي وان أن عاوة كهذلينا إن محي هيد أنا قلنا إن في سومالي بانكو بلابيا مركب فا فا هنا يو برنامج كنا في إنجليزي بانكو دم يسري يا ديلا هيرادو إن برنامج إن أرور كان واحد ليرا دا Begin to Heal Counseling and Consulting Services the reason why I opened this organization is because um, I saw that as a social worker, I wasn't able to fulfill um, the holistic needs of my client. So I decided to open up this organization so I can meet the needs of the people who are racialized, especially um, Somalis in, uh, living in, uh, in Canada as well as Somalis live, living in the global, um, the global world. Um, so begin to heal begin to heal is actually a study that I'm continuing um, not only in the community but also in my studies as a PhD student begin to heal is um, supposed to fill the gaps that mainstream is not filling for people who are of racialized descent and today is a portion of begin to heal today we're going to begin the dialogue the necessary dialogue to um, strengthen communication as well as um, build um, and restore communication among racialized people. So um, the three aspects that have marginalized our communities is the idea of individualization, dehumanization, and depersonalization. And those three aspects have caused our mental health to deteriorate as well as our families to be disenfranchised. So um, this is actually a summary of what Begin to Heal does, but over the time we, I will uh, reveal uh, bits and pieces of how um, I'm, tr I'm attempting to kind of bridge those gaps. Thank you. Well, my son, I hold thank you very much. Um, so the whole other other Bernamish command to a house could the Rena of Somalia, if in Greece, my dad, my dad, or look at the color to call on the children. Wahagag, uh, of course, we are going to discussion. Inshallah, Tala, Wahai Abdullahi Adan, Abdullahi Adan, master's degree, because I'm a jam at them, uh, Toronto University of Toronto. دلکا کنده دلکا کنده گارهان مقاله دا تورنتو و حنوکو سمیا ماستر کیسا سوشال و 
work your focus area of mental health madam mental health go hu bartay wi hay maanta waxa ka hadlayna inshallah ta'ala maintaining um healthy relationship with someone that's struggling with mental health sida xiriir ka loo xojin laha qof oo mental health issues leh ama qof qoyskaaga ka mid ah ama qof xiriir la leeyahay hab in ilaahay karim abdullah aadan ku soo dhawo barnaamijka aan haysan shukri dhamaan martida wax salaamaya aan soo sheegtay na shukri waxaan ka hadli doonaa sida loo xojin doono ama loo xojin karo xiriirka qofka aan qoyska ka tirsan ama bulshada ka mid ah ama qaraabada ah oo qaba ama la tacaalaya xanuunada dhimirka waxaan ognahay inta aan gudaha green mawduuc aan ka hadlo xawaar introduction dadkeena Soomaalida ama dadunka meel walba ka jeegno waxaan maareeyay la kulan dhibaatooyin badan dhibaatooyinkaas oo ah qaxi burburki wadanka ka dhacay taas markaa waxay keentay in effectiga ama dhibaatada ka soo baxday ay noqoto in xoga xanuuno badan ama maareeyay ama challenges waxay dhahaan aan aan kala kulanno xanuunada dhimirka ee maskaxda marka sidee hadii mar qof qoys ka tirsan ama qoys qoys ka ka mid ah ama qof aqraabad tihiin ama ama xaaskaaga ama ilmaha dhasho kale een oo xanuunkaas uu qabo kale soo xiriirki in ka dhaxay aw xujin kartaa macna taas way mawduuc aan ka hadli doono marka dhowr qodob ayaan ayaan isku dayi doonaa inaan sheego qodobka koowaad wuxuu yahay een waxaan u baahan marka ugu horeysa oo xiriirkaas aan xujinayn inaan fahanno in qofka iyo xanuunku ay kala duwan yihiin you have to separate Uh, the illness from the person mana qofkan qaba xanuunka inuu yahay qof caadi ah ama maaragtay uu yahay qof dhibaato la kulmay oo san ahayn qofki oo san ahayn marka marka fahamka nooca saaxiibtid oo qofki aad iyo xanuunka kala saartid ana waxa fahmaysa in qofka la fahmi doonto si xiriirka uu ka wuxuu noqon doona ina fahantid sababta qofkan uu dhibaato u sameeyay ama maaragtay ama u dhaqmay inay san ahayn asaga inay san ahayn ee xanuunka inuu yahay ama ama dhibaatada markaas uu la kulmay inay tahay marka qofka wuxuu noqon inay fahantid sababta qofkan uu dhaqmay inay tahay xanuunka inay tahay mid laad waxa weeyay inay fahantid ama aragtid fursado kale oo qofkaas xaaladiisa uu ku wanaajin karo sida inaad ogaatid inaad u geyn kartid meel aad oo maarkino la talino kale inaad maarkay aad waqtigaaga aad siin kartid waqti hadduu xana qof kale qolku uga bixi kartid oo u soo laaban kartid maar fursado badan oo qofkaas xaaladiisa uu kor u kicin karo kale inaad 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 siisid ee marka qofka sida macaamilaysid ama qofka noocaas oo qaraabada ah oo xanuunka qaba aad xiriir la leedahay waxa isku dayaysa inaad heshid maareeyay garab ama maareeyay caawimaad ka shid dadka kale oo xirfad aan yaqaan oo qofkan ka caawin karo ina maarka markaas ay noqoto get support from other people oo dadka waxa shaqada ku leh akeeshid ee na marka marka intaas aad sameysid oo aad fahantid xawunka iyo qofka ni kala duwan yihiin oo aad fahantid in dhibaatada waxa sababay ay san ahayn qofka ay tahay dhibaatada uu qabo waxa isku dayaysa marka qofka ina u sheegtid waxa ka filanaysid maara mana aad dhigi kartid okay ee na sidaan sidaan ayaa dhibaatadu ay tahay laakiin waxaan isku dayaa in hadda kadib markaan wada joogno oo dhibaataas ay dhacdo waxaan ka filanayaa expectation kee wuxuu inaad sidaan isaan asmis inaad maraha rules and regulations waxa isku ogtihiin oo qofka soo ku dhaqmo oo adigana aad hadhuuti aad ku xisaabtami karto kana u sheegtid ee qofka soo qofka shanaad marka ana marka intaas la soo gudbo marka oo isku ogaataan wixii ka dhaxeeyay oo dadkii caawimaad ka heshid waxa ay maanaysa marka mid kale inaad heshid ama aad fahantid ee habka ugu fiican ee qofka soo la xiriiri karo salahaan oo kale ee qofkii aan ku inboost gareen waxa aartina u sheegtay salahaan dii aad u ka xanaajiyo qofka soo kale ama xaaskaagi ama qof aad la soo kale ee uu ku sheego ee inuu dhibaato qabo waxa u sheegi kartaa in ana waxa aad rabtid ee san ahayn waxa aad kaliya xaga ka socdo aad isku qabo qofkii dhibaatada si uu qabo ama waxa aad u sheegaysay in faa'iido si uu jirto oo dan uu jirto waxa dhigata salahaan oo kale hadii uu qofku ku sheego inuu yahay maaragtay ee na qof raba inuu inuu adoo la hadlayo kale ama wax u sheegay kale ku dhageysan waaye marka inta dhigay kale ma dhageysanaysid maxa ku dhacay dhig kartid waxaan u maleynayaa ama waxaan qabaa ama waxaan dareemaa inaan dhageysanayno kale ana to impose ana qofka u sheegtay waxa aad toos u sheegtid in direct weyn ahaan u sheegtid oo u dadbat ma qaabta dadban u sheegtid ee na arinta kale marka oo ayadana ee na ku caawin karto ama xiriirkaas kor u qaadi karto waxa ta inaad isticmaashid luqad very simple ah لقد اعطوا فضود ودبعسن او ماركتي انا 
تلمامي كرت واحد إنك كده حياة حيرك إنك كده حياة قال أنا معك لغة تلمامي كرتها شدة دنيا حاشك أو قال أنا هذا توش وش وش يجين إني معرفت حنو شنطة هو قال لك أترى هذه نوح دريم يا معلم أنا شو بوش شنطة هذا فلان كل واحد يحاول نكون دعاء أو سيتويشن على شقة شقة كان مرك المه دوم مرك الشوك قال واحد عم بوش باتام ديبريشن أو قال مرك دي شو بوش شنطة هو قال أنا هذا توش وراح اللي قاعد سدة بنا وقال وش هي كرتيد أو قلنا لي هذا الفروض أو ما عرفت هذا سيمبل واحد مركا ما قرنا نوقت يقدر معدي إنتاج أيام واركا إنه تقبل بضع عاون كرا حرير خ ما عرفت يوناكسن أو الله ده قف لتعالي أما لا درا دعي حنون دمرك قوس كترسن أنت شو جب جبين لها أنا وما شنتين هذه هذا وما شنت عبد الرهي سوى نعقب أو هذا الشيء وين وأنا وح مهمة بشيء ذي نبضنا على ما كهذا الآن حنونها أو mental illness قو وحكم ده مرك mental health مرك ليرة هذا سو عبد الرهي نقول شيء جاي ما أهن just شراء أم عذر أم قف كينو يعني وعليني هاي حالة ذو بضم بشراء قف كبني هذا كم مرك كرو سيد depression قو كلاته أما baby blues وح ليرة هذا أه postpartum for example حاسك هذا مركي مركي ده شو ااا دمر كقار كود با با كقاعدة postpartum depression أو آه situational and دمر كبضنا إن شاء الله ويكبس كون ذان and ويكرون ذان وحق هذا أنا دا دا وذيال وحنا وجهي جو ااا قف كمرتي ذا النوع عيشة فرانسيس ااا عيشة فرانسيس ااا role كذا is very important um لأنه وحي لسه سعودي begin to heal سندية كهر وأنا آثر وقف آذي آذي مهم دسكشة كانوا عيشة welcome to هرمكة تي في so عيشة topic will be the framework for resiliency the work of restoration and healing for families after getting in trouble with the law عيشة welcome to the show and yeah you can start your topic thank you very much so as we look at the when families are interacting with the law and are at conflict, are in conflict with the law, there is a framework that we need to establish so that there is um, an opportunity for healing and restoration to occur. And so that is rooted in family first and putting a focus on the family. And so we begin the work that we do from a framework of understanding what is happening in that family and solidifying and building stability back into that home. We start with the family and we do that intentionally where others may believe that it's important to start with the individual or to begin um, trying to uncover why they entered into a situation that brought them into conflict with the law. We begin that the place to begin is with the family and this is because when we tap into a family and we begin to really think about the dynamics of a family, we, we, we get to the root of some deep, deep issues. There's a lot of unpacking that needs to begin there. And so in bringing the healing, the healing of that individual has to be rooted in the support and the love and the connectedness to their families. It is in that that they are able to find a pathway out of the conflict with the law. So why the family? With the family there is this rooting of identity and a restoration that is rebuilding that individual. We need to work through everything from communication issues to relational issues, how the dynamics of each individual function within the family, the roles and the responsibilities that they have within that home, and how those have been either... Um, so the stability of the family is really is vitally important to the restoration of any person that has been in conflict with the law. The reason is that when someone is released back into the home, the family becomes a hub for all of the barriers that usually occur for someone um, reintegrating. And so those barriers are everything from financial supports to housing supports to mental health supports to just basic relationship supports and so we begin with the family so that we rebuild that stability that we provide the tools and the resources we help these families get to the root of what is the brokenness and the pain and the trauma and we begin by healing those things within the within the family this is imperative because without that 
then you don't have a sense of identity and you don't have a sense of really who you are and why you need to set a course for yourself that creates a real legacy. There is a responsibility that you have no matter the role that you play within that family, whether it is a father or a brother or a sibling. And so the dynamics of the family shifts whenever that individual um, is no longer in the home or able to pr participate or be present in the home in the way that they are to be. After we move from the family, we move into looking at the individual. And so we create a family care plan that begins with a collective goal and then we drill down into the individual and we start to look at the introspective nature of what is happening specifically with that individual. We begin by listening to the story of the individual and their perspective on why they entered into the system and how they have been traumatized either by the system, the um, life, their life story and the trauma that they've experienced there and we begin to bring the healing and restoration to those areas. We do that by <coughs> providing counseling and so we start to unpack not only what has happened to the individual but how we can really begin to reframe and um, bring healing. Um, one of the things that's important is that after we work with the individual, then we move into the community. And the connection between individual and community is a real sense of bringing a, a bridging back together of why not only is the community important to the individual, but why that individual is important to the building of the community and the strengthening of the community. Why their contribution and why their participation as part of that community builds and strengthens that community. And so we talk about the idea of commonality the idea of even if we cannot agree on everything that we can agree on the the need for our communities to be strengthened the need for our communities to be safe the need for us to be able to live within our communities and um, raise our families in those communities and so we bring that um, together and then that now when we're able to do family that overlaps into the individual that really um, brings out that sense of identity and who that person is and why they are important and then we move into the individual and we bridge that with the community and we start to think about why that why who that person is is important to the strength of the community we then bring that back into the family and then there's a need for all families within that community to be united and really begin to focus on how we can come together to ensure that our young people are not ending up in the system. The last thing that I will say that's um, vitally important is, and I think it was mentioned already, is that we can't look to the outside to begin to heal what is happening within our communities. There is the issues around the diaspora, there is cultural, um, culturally sensitive and culturally informed um, approaches that we need to be taking. We need to be cognizant of the trauma that is happening on many levels, the trauma through um, the anti-racism oppression, the trauma that is coming from um, within our own communities and the divisiveness that we have even amongst ourselves and we need to really begin to address those things if we're really going to look to build up a framework for resiliency to combat the um, the pathway into the criminal justice system. Thank you so much Aisha. Uh, that was uh, well said and, and organized. So Aisha addressed that community first um, and then the family unit in order to uh, go back to the main topic and today's um, whole those objective was uh, basically to restore communications and strengthen relationship to, br to bring about systemic change and although I want you to um, uh, touch on that to on that uh, topic on itself linking to what uh, Aisha just addressed right now so um, let's go back a few steps um, and talk about why I brought these um, experts and um, brought them together um, as, as a campaign as a one platform um, and my intention of bringing these individuals together so um, my idea started out 
that mental health, like for example, me and Abdullahi, we're from the we're from we're social workers and working with uh, people who suffer from mental illness. So we usually go and visit these communities. We usually interact with people who are in need of um, expert advice on mental health. But we don't go into, let's say, the private communities or communities that serve families or communities that serve children or communities that are based on social media or the intention of bringing broadcasting and information. So I've, I've included the media today not only as, as a way to kind of um, bring forth this information but also as part of this campaign to to begin the dialogue of the of this this important dialogue that is impacting our communities so that's why we're all here today we're all from different fields we're all from different backgrounds and some of us even though most of us are racialized we come from different backgrounds so we need to come together and um, and bring ideas in one platform so then we can move forward from here this platform is not a platform that's just gonna start today and end today it's a platform that's gonna begin today and go on forever and it's based on our youth our youth um, are, are, are actually um, now criminalized right our youth are in the mental health system our youth are disenfranchised why because of that concept that I've been talking about um, that has colonized us to think in an individualized way, in a depersonalized way, and in an inhumane way. So we all have, have this practice of, of being independent, but we don't have this concept of understanding dependency and that we all need one another in this journey. Well said, thank you very much. Uh, so now to transition to something that's extremely relevant in today's society, which is uh, social media, the use of social media, the pros and the cons. And to address that, um, I want to welcome Ayadi Ibrahim uh, to talk about the uh, uh, destiny connect connected to uh, progress and also the role of social media when, when it comes to family issues and uh, society at large. Ayadi, welcome to Harmak. <coughs> Salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al Mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Thank you everyone uh, for inviting me. Uh, I know Hoda addressed us earlier as experts. I personally am not an expert, I'm just someone who has some ideas. Um, but I'm very humbled and honored to be with, with you all who are actually experts in your field. Um, my topic uh, is social media, and that's something. Um, First, a little bit about me. My name is Ayad Ibrahim. I graduated from uh, Ryerson University. Uh, I majored in politics and governance. That was my uh, undergrad, and hopefully one day uh, when I get time, I'll uh, go into my uh, master's. But uh, for now, uh, I'm just, I just stepped away and moved into the, the, the career field. So, but uh, back to the topic at hand, social media. Uh, and I know we hear that word in... Uh, social media is something that has, has brought profound change, it has br brought profound change across the globe. It has positive effects, uh, and, and a lot of the positive effects is, is you see the change, especially for people that are Somalis, where you uh, are talking to your family back home, you are engaging with them, uh, the exchange of the free flow and the exchange of information on, on a rapid scale, uh, unseen at, at any time in history until now due to the digital transformation. Uh, you can see even in, in the Arab Spring, uh, a lot of the, those movements were caused by social media where the people were sharing information and coming to the streets. And so it does a lot of e even raising money. And, and today, for example, uh, someone passes away, you know, you go a GoFundMe page for them. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's done amazing things. It's revolutionized how we communicate. Uh, but I, I don't know if we can call that uh, complete progression. There are aspects of our communication that is affected that, in fact, we've regressed. Where people even, I, I talk about social movements, in the social media world, when you create these social movements, there is no clear uh, cohesiveness. Because people are in this imaginary community. 
So you have these you have these people. You're talking to them. And sometimes they're all across the world. You don't know them. You've never seen them before. So it's hard to create a bond. And when social movements are coming and, and there's relationships building, bond is very important. Now that's one aspect on, on, on a societal level. Now you come to the family level. If you look at the family level, you have children today who are texting their parents on Facebook, on WhatsApp, which is fine. But if that's the only mode of communication, I can tell you one day I, I, I took a, a taxi and I was talking to this man uh, and he was, you know, we just started talking about uh, random subjects and he said to me, he looked at a text and he's, he's like, that's my, that's my kid text. Oh, that, that's good. I said, your kid, you know how many kids? He's like, yeah, he's like, that's the only time they talk to me. I'm like, what do you mean? And he, he was a Sri Lankan man, so we, as Somalis and Sri Lankans, we came here same time almost, in, in the, you know, the late 80s, early 90s. He's like, that's the way they communicate with me. He's like, they, you know, they don't run to me. They, when I come home, they don't, it's like, re really, he's like, they only text me when they need something. So the parent is no longer uh, that affectionate caregiver. It's just, hey mom, hey dad, this is what I need. Social media, what I can't say. I don't know what I can't say. I don't know what I أنا بروح وكنت شرا واتساب أنا بإنترنت كوك جالك وحي أوردن عم حتى واحد كينا يا إذا بدرضة يا واحد وكأرك يا دك كلا أيو نعم جريج كينا يا إما كتهريب كا إما كنا هايستا دد بدن أفريقيا أوردن تهريب كنا هايستا وحكيم أنا يا قف بعد دلك يشوجا أنا بس عمالي لاند أنا بس عمالي دلك يشوجا واحد دعيا وحوجي في فيسبوك صاحب كي بق تصي يا يوروبا يشوجا أي حالد وصلت تحي مركب سيدنا واحد قال يعيل يعيري مركب واحد دوني نعم سيدنا قف كان يسدو وضن وقعت هاي أنا قلنا وضن أربع مرة يا مركب سيدنا نفتي سنبو بيميني وحقاضنا يا دون يربو قاضي دون تبو راعي يا دنو البلاء يلكون ما يا so these are the effects of social media where the person is seeing these these changes in 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 the idea of progression in the in migration this person is 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 a third world country he sees his friend is in Europe now his friend doesn't really tell him about the journey, but this says, hey, I'm here now. So he said, hey, my friend is now progressing. He's in, he's in the first world. He's in Europe now. I got to migrate. So he's going to take this boat. And then let alone, he's going to take that horrendous journey and encounter all these things that he never fathomed. So in, in some ways, altering his destiny. So... I think that's, that's, that's what we see, the effects of social media. And don't think that I'm against social media. We are users of social media. And like I said, it has massive, uh, you know, positive effects. However, we just, we have to understand uh, that, and, and this maybe may come out in the long run too, the psychological effects of social media. And there's, there's uh, text-based social media, and then there's image-based, such as the Snapchat and the Instagram. I think those are even more detrimental to the, uh, to the psyche. In the sense where its image is bombarding you 24 hours. لما حد عاي أوكي وانو هشينا كاسانو داونا ولا داونا يا إما كوا حد عاي مركا هدونا وأم بدي بدأ عروت دي بدأ كعيارة يا أم بقف كده الشق وقف سنة يا لكن إما كوا حد عاي أفضل تك سعود قف كوا أونلاين أم بعنا خد التلفون أم بعنا خد اللاب توب أم بعنا خد كمبيوتر كه مسك حد إن منا سنة سبعة كل واحد على توصي يصور كل واحد على توصي يسبدل the brain does not have a chance to wind down He's, you know, there, I was telling him in, in the era of the television, people would sit in the living room and, and they would have, there would be a consensus, it would be consensus based. You know, guys, we're going to watch this show, let's agree now. And that will bring them, and that will actually build relationships even within the family. Hey, let's, let's, you know, you know, it's my turn, you want your show now, it's my show now. Now there is, there's a phone, there's a laptop, there's a TV. We are constantly looking at a screen. 
we are constantly looking at people who are, uh, in some ways, it can be an illusion, but doing better than us. And that affects you. Oh, man, oh, really? Oh, Susan, she really got that job. Maybe she didn't get that job. <laughs> but she's just telling you that. You know, <laughs> she didn't get that job. It's image-based. Oh, really? She really lost that weight. Oh, I love her body. But it's surgery. You know what I mean? And, but we can't, the brain can't differentiate, right? Sometimes re perception is reality in this world today. What you perceive is the reality. So I think we, social media has a lot of uh, positive changes. And again, we progress. Uh, but we have to watch out in the long run. It may alter the destiny of humanity if we are not uh, forever vigilant. Uh, that's, that's, that's my two cents. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ayad. You addressed a lot of uh, relevant issues, linking it back to the mental health aspect that Abdullahi addressed, uh, which is basically uh, comes from isolation sometimes. So we see uh, that social media is nothing but social. And uh, I'm the first to admit it. Uh, I take it for granted. I feel like I do see my friends, but I really don't see them physically because I have them on Facebook, on Snapchat. So I follow their stories. They know my story. Um, therefore, it's not really social, right? But... Yeah, thank you so much. And Hoda also addressed uh, definitely the individualism aspect of it. Uh, like within the same family, within the same family unit, you see people in different separate rooms using uh, different tablets or different uh, technologies to, to access whatever they want. And now there's Netflix so <laughs> and YouTube, which is one of my favorite. Because you can actually look into what you want to watch instead of the TV dictating the kind of uh, you know, advertisement or what have you. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's excellent. Our next guest is Ayan Yusuf. Um, Ayan is a social worker. Uh, she's somebody who's very active in our community. And Ayan is extremely relevant to this topic because um, she sat with uh, Holda Samatar um, when Holda started this topic within Begin to Heal of uh, strengthening family relationship um, back in November. Um, also, um, Ayan did some talks um, on uh, Radio One. Uh, the the two last Saturdays that passed and uh, I'm sure you can find the link on Begin to Heal's page, Facebook page to um, also listen to those talks. Um, I was part of it and Abdullahi was part of it as well. Um, Ayan, uh, هيلين أنا وحان وأركا أنا أهان تيدا وح آد يآد يآد أفيعن وح أنا عفمات كينا قتلنا يو وح هو يآبي سوح ناكسن أفراي الباب وح عرورتينا أفراي الباب وحان كان نميت سيدا با ودن داقال حوق لك دعي داقال كان أن آد سوق ديلني آد سوق ديبات تيسني رون آهن تن داد بدن او حجرو دجال کاس آن جوگین، اما آن اوجین معنی سوپویه. مرکا داد بدن او سومالیا نگر انتن، ان و اباهن نهی دو دو دن ما آهن این دکام داد تگنو اسپرین ای فرماشیک ساق دنو دو دو این ان کوبد حضل نا وحی وقت دن نگوچرت آنگا، ام بنان کسات دیگنا سی آن وعف مات قبنا، سی آن وحی نود عی مردم این نود عین، سی آن اول ول نو، آن آن بدنا ودن کان وحی کبر نه آت وفی عنا آن کبر نه وحی تای، آن ودن کان وحی فیریان، افک ابن آدم کو ودن کان جو و ما حضل. أما أمد دجال لما ما أنتي وح وأسي كفا إذا سناه لكن مركز توح أمد دجال لما عروتي س عروتي سير لين بحكونه لندنا مودن في عنا أوت تجدون تا مدين في عنا أوت تجدون تا مشق في عنا أوت تجدون تا بحكها رحل دنا أنا جن تاس إن عن أجانو واي وحيابها للربو ما أنت للرب إن عن عن كن قنو عن إسك بس كينو أول ربنا عاف ما تكون نقول حتى هاي دبك نقول دعينا كهذلنا نحن نقول دعي دبك محاسبة وها سو دقائق كرنا أو دقائق كرنا مش هنجوبني أو إنه قن كرنا دد عروض توضا عروض دلان عروض سيد دلان هاي ستان مستقبل في عن هنقطة بيزنس هنقضان هنقضان محكوشة وحياة بقية إلى صباحان إيوه سدي وجود دلنا أن رون أهان آت إيات وجود دانا سومالي نمو سومالي محيطة هاي حاجة كتميت 
ان محن اسكو دلني ان وحيابا بدن ايا جرو او ماركتي ادي اد وحاكلو جرو ان وحيابا بدن او دباتوي نو قستان علاشو كو عشنين او انكا هدلن او وحالاقيا با صدن سنة افرتن سنة انا علاشو كو هيني هل مالنا قف وحنا قف ورايا وقرحينا أنا قلنا بقف كيو شكل قوة ذو كل ما يستنى بس كقرح يساعد قلنا مركو حوا واحد على شكو هاي سوا لكن هذا أنت عمل سوفري ستة أو كهذا الشيء أو ما ركتي بنانك سو اكتيت حياب بدنا قعونا هالنقطة أنا كهذا الشيء أرنتا هالنقطة إن إلهي الباب كل قفوري دانو هالنقطة إن ما ركتي تمر وقف ولا الكاد أجرجارتو مركا وحياه بدن أيام كجعل هذي إن برنامج كان إيه كان تهذا أو هيلن إيه وأن أوضة باهنا هي عافمات كا مو باهنين كنيني مو باهنين عند تار أتقنا وحو باهنا هنا حذينا إن أوضة فريسنا أو نقول ده تسكت دوبن إن أرين تيار أو حنك هذا لاي قبل نعم مريار تعبت أو كوساب سن قيس كي عروتنا دبعت هذا إنت كده عيسى عروتنا دبعت هذا إنت كده عيسى ووحس هاله وحما أهن إن عن ضدك كلا رانو إذا كان غصن مساني ودن كان جوجنا وإيه أسكرت وإيه وحاس مايا قف ابن آدم واجل آدم بي عروتين واجل كران وابن آدم لكن سدى أيامك عاونينا سدى أيامك عاون دونا قف كحتى على حري لفت جيسا قف سومالي وأنتو لفريستي لشكست مجرم حاكوجي وحاس محاكوجا شيء وحلا جا مستيك يرؤس مي إنه قلت كاسكو دعي قلت كينو ويل أوصعده مركب واحد كلية أو عن كح كص مين كرنو أنا عن كو كو بكسن دانو أو ماركتي إنه نو قندانتي أنا وحكا قبلنا بحيتهاي إنه عن إسكون مادنا إنه عن وضع هذلنا إنه عن خيال من جرت ماش إنه وضع هذا النص معان وشرف كجرت وأخلاق كجرت إنه وضع هذا النص إسلام ركينا عن أجانو ماش نلك هاي ستو وحي دبعتو نجو جرنا عن بناكس كصوت إنسي عن أبس كونو وحي ما أنت كبلا متنا إنه إلهي ودينه وحي دعاءه إلهي الصقا جاج الصقا نام حكوشة قف كدم بيجلا كأراءه لكن أنا وابن آدم بعنا هاي وأباهنا هاي عفمات كو حكم متاعنا لشة، إن عفمات كو حكم متاعه وحيابه أو قير كبدن له، وحيابه وح مركان عفمات قبتنا، وحيابه بدن وجرجار إها سمعنا سإلهي أدنو كور وورجرينا يتمرو، مرك أنت ساقو درسنا شكرا. إيان أدي هذا أمه سنتهاي، وحيابه بدن أكدوات begin to heal، مرك begin to heal one of the things you mentioned to me when we spoke last، you wanted to use traditional religious healing um, methods to create uh, multifaceted solutions. And Ayan addressed it also, which is basically how important it is for us to go back to our roots and to talk about the issues and to heal internally within the community before we look for outside resources or outside uh, help. Uh, our viewers, Dawa Diyash, Shahul Market TV, um, وحقا لنا بريك يرا حيسين يرا إن شاء الله أسكو صنقنا لنا بإذن الله الكريم Hello, I am Mohammed Dolly. My team and I can assure you that you will be served with compassion, empathy, and respect in pursuit of your personal injury claims. We have obtained millions of dollars for our clients. You retain us, you will never be disappointed. For those who are looking for immigration lawyers, we have experience and passion to serve you. Contact Dolly of Dolly Law. Thank you.
وهاك داو ذي اشهر مركه تي في تاسي وحي هاد قدر يري وحي سينا هاد انا برنامج كني باكو صالا بنينا واه بجن تو هيل اي سيدا حريرك قويسكا لو حوك تشين كارو يو حريرك بلشدا غارهان دات كونال دياسبردا وحرب انا سؤال ويديو عبد الله اذن او كهاد لي منتل هيلث ايشوز يو دات كا فاميلي اما اصحاب تدتك او بلشد كنول او تشروين كان لوكل مي او منتل هيلث سيدي لولا دقمي لها سيدي لو انا تشينكرو او لو حو تشينكر حرير كاسبا عبد الله بليز نو فاه فاه بوينتس كا يو دتك سيدي لو حو تشينكر حرير كاس او ما شاء الله شكرا هوري وان وحن وشي قضا بدورة مرحبا دي لسو قبل قبيو أنا وحوار ريارتا وقف كحير كونا جين كروي حتى هاي إنه فهمو قف كان حنوسن عم قف كان دبعت هذا قوة يحنون كن كل الدوين معنا قد كون أو ما عرفت أنا ومتكاس متى كلام سيد عن الشيء ده وحوي قف ك مركي أكو عرفت أكو دبعت حق لكن كو كلاء عم قف ك وحي عاد كنت قام أو يسد أكو يسوا كله إنا أقول فهم إنه صعب تقف كوي هاي بس صعب تأتي تحي حنوك. مركنا كنا سألت بيهيفير كوح كوش قرينا عيو إنا سنهن شخص جدو ليا إنا سنهن. يو إن استعمال اللقط فروت نا قف كما عرفتي على قط كينين أدي لفتي عوسي دارينا كلا وحلا حير كونا ديك لكن تاع. مركا أدي قط باس مخشو جب جب حرينا كهلا حرينا جنانة أه أو أه شجود أهان لما أنت معنا قف كحنوسان يكن عفمات قبابة. وحاولنا جيك الحير كده محيا وحاولنا وواحد عن بالانس إنه لايف كم أدينا رشة تحي نت بالانس آه نبلنا عملت هالت كأوحى شرد وآه مقف كنا كنا نرول ديل ترن وحى أفسر ماله بقوله بالانس يا مركا سو ماله ده نرول شن أنت بدنا ديل ترن أو وحاول بالانس كنا آدي ومعرفت وير جهاي ومر بوحاكم مش قصة نهاي مر لقحي مر معرفت لدقي أنتو لدقي مر لوجر الدبر العرشه أنا لعبان النقلة بقف شو أنا بلنا وحى كجرا حالة تنسى وأه مركب حنو حنو غير حشو مركب ريلاكسيشن قفك إنه إنه ما عرفت الدواء دن قفك لا لا دي القرية معنا قفك لا تع لا معاملة يعني قفك حنو سنة وكلا مركب شغل حسيلون يعني وشغل تيس إذا جنت حالة دي سنة ولد وحافعنا حير كقف كاسك هذا حياة أنا يو إن ما عرفت سجود بالشدة ما عرفت اللي بعتوين كجود أو هست أو حاجة ودن واحد واحد كجرت أنا وحوا صامنا كل هذا ده لفتي ودن وحصله ده تكون ويحصل الكران ده نحن نقطع مرك عارين كبلا عن سا ماكرو ليفل ده فاميلي جمعنا سا ده إنديفيدوال كي مرك قف نص ومالي ما حصل الكرا ودن كل واحد كتاعين صار عن يعني مرك سؤال بعد ذا الشيء ده دي لكن تلاقي نقول سؤال بعد ذا تلاقي شيء وحالة ده مش كحد مفيد أنا إيش مرك وحنا قلنا سأرين سكود حد يفتح لكن حكسو قبل قبلين لها إن نرشة إن قطن ديال الترن أو بالانس يا أنا ما سنتين أنا ما سنتين هذا وما سنت عبد الله وحكسو نقنا يا عيشة فرانسيس عيشة you addressed resiliency the framework that affecting families and how some of the steps you addressed in your talk but I want you to please elaborate on connecting love and support within the family and then gaining access to resources that are out there. So the connection around the love and support that has to happen in the family is sometimes difficult to get to that point because I think that it is a hard pill to swallow and we have to look at our family unit and see what we have missed or overlooked or changed about the way that we you know, are raising our families, the cultural aspects that we have forgotten or thrown away or are not as easily embraced by our children and so it's a hard pill to swallow sometimes when we have to look at our family and the root of why someone has entered down the path to um, conflict with the law or incarceration. So the love and support has to happen when we bring the healing back into that family. We begin to have those conversations and we begin to be honest and we be begin to be transparent around you know what every individual's needs are within that family and how can we address them together and support one another through those very difficult needs, having those deep conversations. With respect to um, accessing resources, one of the things that we really need to tap into is our community, our immediate community. If we're looking outside of the community, I was at a conference just um, on Thursday and Friday where there were 
many members who are interested in this topic who are not racialized folks. And so the perspective that they have is one of really coming in and swooping in to save and to help us from a perspective that we can't help ourselves. We are not capable or able to um, help ourselves or heal ourselves or go back to our practices of, you know, our, our back home practices, the things that made us a unit that helped us to communicate, that helped us to love each other at a very deep level. And so we need to begin to understand that it's not those resources that we need to tap, tap into, but the resources within our community. Being honest and transparent between one another, where families can support families, where families who have been through the situation can begin to mentor the families that are currently going through the situation, where we can talk about those who have been successful and celebrate their stories and learn from those stories and begin to tap into those resources outside of the ones that we need. So there's another um, aspect of reaching out and ensuring that we are getting the resources around mental health and dealing with our trauma that we need to and that we remove the stigma and shame that says that we can't access those services when we need them. That we can't talk about what our family is actually going through because until we begin to speak about what our families are going through, then we will always be limited as to how, um, if we will, and how we can access the resources that we need to support us to get through and out of the situation that we find Absolutely. ourselves in. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Aisha. Uh, so take the stigma away from mental health. Uh, that's very important. And um, I want to bring it to Ayadi Ibrahim um, addressing social media. You have mentioned uh, imaginary community. Um, I want you to elaborate on that. And also, uh, uh, social media, uh, Garahan or Abihoi, Yaruto, Ubatkodo, or Skurikunol. Mahi Samankaran, any Aulad do the more engaging Nordan, I'm a Hirik Slehochian. Thank you, Shukri. Um, the first step, I think, uh, in terms of uh, the imaginary community, what I mean by that is uh, we have Facebook groups uh, or we're part of uh, Facebook in general, and that we are constantly interacting with people, sharing ideas. Some of these people we've never seen. Uh, some of these people, for, and also, uh, without seeing them, we're constantly engaged with them. However, uh, it's very difficult to uh, build a social movement or a clear relationship without ever seeing someone. And, and I know in today's world, uh, some may are, uh, differ and say, you know what, no, that's fine. But part of being human is seeing that individual. Uh, you know, and that builds emotional intelligence where you look, look at the person and see how they're feeling and say, hey, you know what, they're not in a good mood today. You can't do that if the person is, a, is just a name on a screen. And another thing that, uh, what I mean, another reason why I'm saying imaginary community is because uh, Facebook uh, builds, uh, I, like, it's ideas. You know, people are very, uh, if you look at the average Facebook page, Everyone's socially conscious, socially aware, loves justice. Uh, you know, these are these are enlightened individuals, but it's superficial. You know, it's it's very superficial. And what I mean by that is, it it doesn't. They don't really believe what they're saying. So when you cr when you make a group or say like save the pandas or you know uh, you know what like uh, you know fight for rights or save Syria or help the children. A lot of those people, if you ask them, what do you know about Syria? They know very little about Syria. But they, they were just compelled to click. You know what I mean? It's, it's almost because we, we've become desensitized to the reality of things. You know? Everything's just a click away. You know? Oh, um, you know what? Like, so people don't feel. So that's what I mean. And, that, and part of being human is seeing these people like how we are doing today, sitting down with them, engaging with them, people giving you their time. You know? If someone's on the computer, it's very convenient for them. But now people, we have traveled to come here, we've taken time out of our day, that's commitment that builds relationships. People understand one another, they see each other. So I think that's, that's the bond. And in, in social media, there is not, in the majority of the time, it's just imaginary, that community, there's no bond. Now, uh, Shugri asked, um, what recommendations uh, can I give? I mean, I, I, you know, to be honest, I, I, the only thing I, I can say, and I'm just, me, my own, is like my, my personal way. It's like, 
I, I watch shows, I watch movies, uh, I do everything that everyone does. But the, pr the thing is, I, I turn it off sometimes. And another thing I do is, uh, I, don't, I don't read online a lot. I try to buy my books where something, the, the concept of holding a book and reading in the book in your hand, there's something, I don't know, I feel like I retain that information more. And not to say I'm against technology, or, but I think the family needs time with each other. They need to do more outdoor activities or sometimes just turn off the TV and chat. I don't know if many of you remember, I think in 03 there was a blackout in all of uh, Toronto. People, st yeah, people actually had fun because you know why? They started interacting more. They had no electricity. So everyone was outside, they were talking. But you know, that, that, that created a bond and people don't forget that summer. A lot of people, they don't call it a horrible event. They said, hey, remember the blackout? Oh, what a great time. <laughs> yeah, it was during the summer. So, so look, look, people don't know why they called it a great time. Just, yeah, look back and say, why did I call it a great time? Because hey, I spoke to my family, I engaged, I turned off the technology for a bit. So technology is meant to aid us. The whole point of technology was to make life simple, was to aid the human being. It was supposed to be subservient to us, but now we've become subservient to technology, and that's a problem. And that's a problem. So that's, that's just my two cents, so thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ayadi. That was uh, wonderful. Um, I want to get back to with Ayan, and uh, you mentioned something very important, uh, the importance of healing and talking about uh, your experience as trauma and, and counseling ourselves without getting the aid of for, uh, from a doctor, for example, or medications, but also comes to what Holda also addressed about individualism and how we keep it to ourselves and how we don't interact, which is all interconnected about your mental health and mental well-being as well. So, I am here in Kuwait, and I have a question about the Gaelki, Burburki, Somalia, Somerte, impact, affect, the death, the suicide, and all that. Meaning, Osama, the death, even one of them, 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 one of them. Please intasi. Ama at sinta shukriye. Dat badan o hajro harta dagal ki suhum ayuno sami o ila sadang sano wadan ki ena kasuude ila hadana wili dawayo nuhayo. Lakin عفمات كمر كان وحير كهالله قف كي من آذن كأه مركو وحيا ببدن لابتي سكو هاي عقبان أو هايو ونوحة صدن كاري قرين هايو دباتو وحي أو جيسن يسا حتى عفمات كيسا إنو حوغا حما دا صوبتا قف كان وحا نهدي سكو جرو ما أه وح سالة ووح عقباء ووحن ووح حاسد نما حاسد نما دا حتى مركي هير وحي قاري سا أذيك انتي كاب بدا تماركت حتى قف كي من آذن كهور فرقي أب نعيسد حتى كراسنيس مرك وحيابها سو وحيابها أنك نديلي هدا النهاي ومد سوماليت أول ربو إنا لد قوة سوماليت مرك لغوطة هاي مرك هيلن قري وحوى عاف مادا هليسا إلهي إبابدو كوفرايا حاسد النمد يا كاكالا يراني سو والاقا حد لا أرين تمحا كوغدعي أذي كلي غامي كوغدعي حتى هدا وحا لغي يا باقف كلا ووالالكا انتا أكفر يستو لباتا داس كسو دعد أو لغي ستيت يا أذي لفتين ولكن يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك اشياء اخرى في المنطقه التي يجب ان يكون هناك ما في عنو ووحيابها ندلي ووحيابها ناين برسان الدبرشن كنا نقول الدبرشن كانوا وحي أبدين مركي إن يرى الدبرشن كودع هدول منتل هل تي إسكو بدلك رتا استرس كاس مركو حيا وحيابها س وإنا كهرنا وحيابها س وإنا نفس دين عفنا نفس دا أذيع الله دا عفي let go لب كرسا صومرتي وحك استا صومرتي إلهي وتوبت كين لبرك عتكو إلها جاجة إلها قو آراي قف كدم بجلي إلها كآراي هذه وحواي النفس الضاد بري 
gacmahaagi iyo korkaagi ah hadlaa biri oo dhay weyn ciqaabi jirtay wadnaha wuxuu ku leeyahay ciqoobi igu haysay wadnaha iyo waxa nuun jiray waxyaabahaas ugu fiirsanta imagine korkaagi oo hadlaayo oo Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala u daabuna markay wax aad tusto waa marka healing ka waa wax aad ku fiican shakhsiyad aan qofnaha uga aabiyeelin wala ninkaaga wala caruurta wala walaala nafsadaada adiga is heel gareey adiga caafimaad hel adiga cimri dheer hel ilaahay wuxuu ku sii caafimaad ilaahay wuxuu ku sii cimri dheer heelin ko waa shakhsiyad ibn aadanka qofku marka lagu dhaay forgiveness qof kala forgive gareenis mala forgive for yourself ويجس كليا أيا الدون كان أغرين كرتا أن أغنى لان كرتا بفنت بلشدنا كم بنقو فرح هذا نحبطه سيد إلهي الباب ذو قفر وما تنتي هذه هذا ما تنتيان عفسك أوح مهمة أو دينتين عدنا عمرتي الحمد لله هذا ربعنا كنا غضم هذا وحب العضي شق شقب بدن ألو بهي بلشدني عاد بهي وقبته رنتي أو آه أنا إسلام داوية يبيجنت هيل داوة أو ونها كبل عبته مكان كل هذي مذهب كذا كيز ماشى أسرع تدي أيم كذا وحوك سابسن يروح عادي عادي ونعكسن أو آخر ذا ذا كسابسن ما شاء الله تبارك الله أنا بلشد وحاس لقيب ست ست وحرب هاد أنا كهذا الشد how do you want to mobilize begin to heal as an organization to uh, not only begin this dialogue, like you said in the beginning, but to continue and to have tangible outcomes at the end of this. W what is your aim at the end? So the question is, how do I, mob how do I wanna mobilize, begin to heal? And mobilizing is not something I am gonna do by myself. It's a community effort. Manta medunin in inan hata me hadlo, lakin in influence ki in hayd group ka aya maxay hayd in igu wajibay in aan maanta halkan fariisto oo ka hadlo begin to heal and begin to heal wa waxaanan wali aniga si fiicanaan hata u fahansanayn marka wax weeyaan wax oo ku saabsan bilaa aadmiga iyo isbeddelka bilaa aadmiga so how are we going to change ourselves how are we going to change our families? How are we going to change our communities and our, and our global families, right? People that live abroad. So this is my intention. My intention is to go from a medicalized perspective of healing to a self kind of induced healing where it comes from the inside out. And I think you mentioned that love is self love, loving of each other, loving of communities. And so, not only are these individuals that are sitting beside me experts, but they're also my friends and hopefully my family, extended family unit. And people that I can go to for help, people that I can discuss um, my, my, uh, my questions with, people that can help me cope, people that can bring me strategies. So if they can bring me strategies, they can also bring their family strategies, they can also bring the community strategies. So this is a very difficult process, but this is a very needed process. Because if we continue in this way, and I always say this, in the next 10 years, we will have youth that are not going to be married, that are not going to be having children. And what's going to happen to our society, to our humanity? What is going to happen? This is not the intention that God wanted for us. This is not the intention that we should have for one, for one another. When you picture your children in the future, do you picture them married with kids I picture them married with kids but if we continue this individualized process this dehumanizing process this depersonalizing process what's gonna happen to our children and so the focus is for me is for our future for our future children for our children's children to have a better life, to have the life that we had at six years old where we played with sand, where we watched TV together, where we slept in rooms as communal, and now this independence that everybody's going into their own rooms. So the aspects of begin to heal is creating strategies together, bringing those tools that we had that helped us be resilient to bring that to our communities that are now addicted to alcohol, that now are addicted to cocaine, to marijuana, to the, you know, to negative things, to things that 
are not helpful to our internal self. So that's my perspective in Begin to Heal. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, our viewers, um, Home Market TV, uh, that's the conclusion of our show today, but it's definitely not the conclusion of this discussion itself. Uh, Begin to Heal is an organization that's going to continue uh, counseling and uh, trying to make an impact, a positive impact to our, uh, not only our internal community, but our Canadian community at large and the diaspora, like Holda said. I want to give a special thanks to um, Holda Samantar uh, for uh, starting this initiative. And I also want to give thanks to our amazing guest, Aisha, Ayan, Ayadi, and Abdullahi. Thank you so much. Dawadi Aisha, Hormaka TV, Markala, Shalas Kusona Kondona, Hormaka TV, Shukri Guchir, Toronto. عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته